Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Projects, I'm Psycho again with you today and in this one we're going to be reviewing the next part of the Batman Telltale series, The Enemy Within, um, the fourth part, um, titled What Ails You. So, um, let's just get on to everything. Um, as far as the gameplay and everything goes, well you pretty much know it, it is a classic Telltale style game in which your decisions have an impact on the whole story that unfolds in front of you um, and the the events how the characters will play out and how the story will end um, so as we know in the second season the enemy within we are going with or against uh, John Doe um, aka Joker um, and the agency to try and stop the pact so, as the story in this one goes, it's pretty much uh, still continuing on with Bruce Wayne as us, um, or the Batman, if you like it more that way, um, trying to stop, well, still trying to stop the pact while figuring out um, Amanda Waller's true intentions and, well, technically the agency's true intentions at the same time. Um, at the end of the episode, there is a major decision in this one, um, including uh, John Doe, as we all know, um, Joker in this one, um, and his future as um, how he will play out in the final episode. Um, there's going to be a bit of a spoiler here. Um, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to tell you about the decisions you can make um, at the end. So the, the two decisions that you can make at the end are pretty much going with John Doe or not going with him um, against Harley Quinn. Um, the, the plot here is that you actually can help John Doe, um, aka the Joker, to become kind of a good guy or, well, let him go with Harley Quinn and stop you and become a bad guy. Um, so yeah, the the decisions that you're gonna make throughout the story are gonna impact the final part and how the um, the ending is gonna play out in the in the whole series. Um, so yeah, as I said, the gameplay, um, as you know, the classic comic book, um, the comic book style from Telltale that they have been polishing throughout all of the games the point-and-click thingies and um, and everything that impact the whole story. So, um, I'd recommend the, well, the whole Batman and the Telltale series to all of you guys and gamers who pretty much like um, the game from the story perspective since these games pretty much focus on the story um, and give you free hands to do what you want um, get uh, get the characters rolling how you like them and kind of um, get an ending that pretty much suits you. So, uh, that's gonna be pretty much all from my side. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos and join me in the final part of the review on Batman The Enemy Within.